I thought uh, today I would do a quick sketch of this cookie. Just a basic shape, irregular shape. Then it's got this strawberry or raspberry center on it. So nothing more than that, just a very simple light shape. I'm gonna take some uh, burnt umber, a little bit of burnt sienna too, and just start with the cookie part. Painting around that center color. Okay, now I can look at that and say, what do I need to add to that? Let's take some burnt sienna. Let's take some uh, raw sienna. And uh, the shadows are going to be around the side. Let's just see what this does. And this may come down, this curves down a little bit, so there could be a little bit of value right in here, but most of the light's gonna hit here and right in this area. And it's got some darker areas on it also. If I've got color creeping up farther than I want, I can take a damp brush, just kind of pull that out. So that's the basic, some basic values right there. So. That's a good place to uh, start adding some more darks. This is gonna be burnt umber. This is a little more on the red side than I actually see in the cookie, but uh, I think it looks good. And there's little value changes in here. That's starting to take a little form to it now. While that's drying, I'll mix up that center color. And it looks like I could probably use quinacridone violet with a little bit of uh, cadmium red, maybe. Let's just try that. Let's see what that looks like. Okay, it's a little deeper in value than that. Um, so I'm going to add a little more quinacridone violet. All right, let's start with that. There's all these little highlights on here. I don't know if that shows up in the video, but there's a, the lights hitting this and creating a lot of little light shapes in there. So I'm going to leave uh, leave white areas and that's the highlights where the light is really hitting that color and I may need to uh, switch to my little script brush to get this and I think I will so I'm going to my script brush Leaving white paper. Some areas, and be careful that the, all the white areas aren't the same size. Some of them are big and some of them are just little tiny spots. But it has to look like strong light giving that shine to it. Now I'm looking at that and realizing that still in some areas isn't dark enough. So I'm taking that quinacridone violet. I'm going to add a little bit of ultramarine blue to it. Those two colors are really close on the color wheel. So they'll, they'll blend together real nice. Since I've got all that red on there, now I'm going to go just straight ultramarine blue to get that, get it a little darker. All 
I'm going to dry that right now, and then we can do a little bit more work on the cookie itself. So back to my uh, my burnt umber. Maybe a touch of burnt sienna with it. Let's just see what burnt umber does first. Yeah. Some of these shapes are a little more defined, a little they little raised areas. Right in through here. So I'll lay a few in like that. And while they're still damp, I'll come in with just a wet brush and just soften some of some of the edges, not all of them. It's kind of dark right in this area. I'm just going to calm down some of these white areas, just with a damp brush. So they're still there, but not all of them are, have the same importance. And I also noticed that there's some of that center color that has come out over the edges. Just being kind of picky, but I do see some light areas in here. I'm just going to take a, a damp brush, just circular motion, pull out some of these areas where the light's hitting it stronger. That's one right there. There's some little ones right in here. And right in here. But that's it, very simple. I've got uh, several sketchbooks and uh, I tell my students all the time to uh, draw and paint anything and everything. Don't spend all your time looking for that perfect reference. This is the time to play and to practice. That's why something as simple as a cookie like this can be a lot of fun. Um, this is one of my sc smaller sketchbooks, but I'll put anything and everything. Well, here's another brush, here's a pencil, one of my tubes of paint. A little landscape, uh, some leaves, another landscape, more landscape. I enjoy landscapes, obviously. A couple farmhouses. Friend of mine, Charlie. Ice cube. Something as simple as that. It's got limited color, but it's kind of fun to, to paint something. Challenge yourself. Here's a sponge that I had laying on my table. Some more landscapes, playing with dramatic skies. Uh, here's a night scene I did just recently. Uh, it was a daytime picture, but I turned it into a night scene. This is the time to play and to practice. Whether it's a painting or whether it's little sketches like this. Um, and especially sketches of buildings. You really learn your two-point perspective. Uh, it's it's really important. It opens up a lot of subject matter to you that you wouldn't consider otherwise because you know that you, you, know, you don't quite understand how to draw that building and make it look right. And then I've also got a larger, much larger one. But sketchbooks are extremely important. It gives you time to play. You aren't de devoting a lot of time to it. Do a little studies. Uh, it's a great way to improve your skills, not only with your brushes, but understanding your colors and mixing colors. So I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.